Messer Financial Group presents an overview of online contracting. In this first installment, we will select our user ID, password, and PIN. You can access online contracting in a variety of ways. One, through the Agent Resources tab. Two, the home page slide. Or three, directly through messerfinancial.com forward slash online contracting. Before we jump in, let's take a look at the landing page. This page informs us that in order to complete the process, you must submit your supporting documents either by fax or by upload. These documents are required by the carrier, so we can't move forward on your contract request without them. Okay, let's get registered. We're a first-time user, so we're going to click here. You'll enter your name, your email address, user ID, and password. There are some rules for passwords, so make sure you read those. And create a PIN. Make sure you write it down, because you're going to need it later. And click Register. And that's it. You've completed the first step in online contracting. In the second installment of online contracting, we'll be answering the contracting questions. We've logged in with our user ID and password, and that brings us to the main menu. Let's take just a moment to look at it. From here, you can resume the process of contracting, request additional carriers, print fax cover sheets, upload your documents, and view current requests. We want to start with the questions. From here, we're taken to a landing page. There's additional information that will be important for you to know. You must complete all of the questions. Incomplete information can result in delay or rejection of your requests, and we don't want that. We also see a rundown of what to expect in the question section, also known as the interview. And we're told which documents we're going to need to complete the process. This would be a good time for you to gather those documents so you don't have to stop and start. Okay, we have everything we need to get started. Click Continue Questions. If at any time during the process you need to go backward, use the Back button near the bottom of the page. And let's take a moment to look at the tabs at the top of the page. These tabs will tell you where you are in the process, or if you need to skip around, you can do so easily by using them. And back to our questions. You must put something in the Who Recruited You box. If the answer is nobody, you can put email, and we'll have one of our marketers contact you. In this case, I'll put Messer. Here, we choose our carriers. Note, if you do not currently have ENO, don't choose carriers that require it. Choose the carriers you want and click Continue. For representative contract, we click Accept. And on this page, we're asked if we have ENO coverage. If you do not have ENO coverage, please contact us today to learn about our ENO plan. We offer the best, most comprehensive, affordable plan in the industry. For our demo, we're clicking Yes. On this page, we'll enter our policy information. And when entering coverage amounts, don't use commas. For the type of contract, we're selecting Individual. And this begins the Personal Information section. There are several required questions, so make sure you answer them. Your home address. Your mailing address. and whether or not you have a home office or are a DBA. For our demo, we're clicking No. Choose Resident or Non-Resident License. 
and then enter the information about your current licenses. Are you FINRA registered or have a broker-dealer? For our demo, we're answering no. This is the legal information section. All questions must be answered on this page. If you do answer yes to any question, you'll be taken to an additional page where you can provide explanations and supporting documentation if necessary. Do you want to assign your commissions? And choose the account type for your direct deposit. Enter your account information here. This section deals with anti-money laundering training. If you answer yes, you'll be taken to an additional page where you can provide information about your training. For our overview and for the sake of time, we're going to answer no. Some carriers will have specific questions for you. You'll answer them here. You're almost done. You have just a few more steps, but you have some very important things to do. You'll still have to authorize submission of your contract, and this page is giving you a heads up that you'll soon be either faxing or uploading your documents. Hit Continue. Click the boxes next to the authorization of each contract. Then enter your PIN number. But wait, you still have to hit the Submit Contracting Requests button. You're not done until you do that. In our next installment, we'll be uploading and faxing our documents. This is the third and final installment of the Online Contracting Overview, and it is the final step to completing your contracting. You have finished the interview portion, so there's just one thing left to do. Submit your documents, your signature page, license, e &O, direct deposit information, and other documents if applicable. You can attach your documents to your request using one of two methods, direct upload from your computer or by fax. To upload your documents, click the Attachments Upload button. Choose the file you are uploading from your computer. Then from the drop-down menu, choose the type of document you are uploading. If uploading your license, use the other drop-down menu to choose the issuing state of your license. Then, click Upload. You'll repeat this process for each of the types of documents you are uploading. Please note, for the signature page, your signature must be an actual signature. To fax your documents, you'll see that there is a corresponding button for each type of fax cover sheet. Here are some important things to know before you fax your documents. It is very important that you use the correct cover sheet that corresponds with the type of document you are sending. Do not use your own cover sheets as these cover sheets have a unique code that the system uses to identify you and your documents. When faxing, place the corresponding document behind the cover sheet. Also, note that your signature must be an actual signature. We suggest that you send your documents in this order. Your signed electronic signature cover page, individual state license cover followed by a copy of your license, direct deposit cover sheet followed by a copy of avoided check from the account you named in the interview process, E&O cover sheet followed by a copy of your E&O policy, and if necessary, the legal question explanation cover sheet followed by your explanations and or court documents if applicable. Fax your documents to the number on the sheets, 877-321-6235, and that's it, you're done. Congratulations, you have completed the online contracting process. In the future, if you would like to contract with other carriers, you will log in with your user ID and password, go to the main menu, click Request Additional Carriers, choose your carriers, and you're done. Thank you for choosing Messer Financial to be your partner in success.